the white spotted bamboo shark. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy Hero. It's such a warm day, so I'm gonna let my pet turtle cool off in the pond. <laughs> Did I give you an idea, Hero? Wow, look at that big fish. It's trying to grab the turtle. There you go. I didn't know we had such a big fish in our pond. Let me scoop it out with the tank. Hey, this big fish looks like a small shark. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Are you there? We found a big fish in our pond that looks like a small shark. Hi, Leo. I see. Maybe it's a baby shark. Can you find more information about it? I sure can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the baby shark? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a white-spotted bamboo shark. But it's not a baby. It's a young adult. But I thought sharks were big and scary animals. Not all sharks are big and dangerous, Leo. Adult bamboo sharks will not grow longer than one meter in length. So this bamboo shark is almost fully grown. And bamboo sharks are harmless to humans. So where does the bamboo shark come from? White-spotted bamboo sharks are found in coral reefs in the Pacific Ocean around Southeast Asia. What's a coral reef? A coral reef is made up of tiny animals called polyps. Polyps stay in one place and form the shapes of the coral reef. A coral reef can be very colorful and is filled with many living creatures, such as plants and fish. Wow! Coral reefs are beautiful! Bamboo sharks live in coral reefs because most of the small animals they eat are found there. The bamboo shark uses his small teeth to hold onto its prey and crush them. The coral reef also provides protection for the bamboo shark because there are a lot of places to hide from predators. Hmm. Our pond doesn't have a coral reef, so we should bring the bamboo shark back to where it belongs. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the Pacific Ocean, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a white-spotted bamboo shark. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're taking it to a coral reef. That's great, Leo. Did you know the white-spotted bamboo shark is a nocturnal animal? That means it doesn't sleep at night. Instead, it hunts for food. Bamboo sharks tend to stay close to the bottom of the sea, where they hunt for small animals and hide from predators, like larger sharks. Unfortunately, bamboo sharks are sometimes captured by people to be sold as exotic pets, or even eaten as food. Oh, that's so sad. If you want to return the bamboo shark to a coral reef, better make sure it's a healthy-looking reef. And healthy-looking reefs have bright colors. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky.
Let's see what we can find. Here is a place with a green reef, and on this side is a place with a colorful reef. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a green reef, and over there is a colorful reef. So where should we go? There. That's right. We need to go to the colorful reef. That means the coral reef is healthy for the bamboo shark to live in. Let's go. With our jeep, we should get there in no time. A big shark is following us, Leo. Don't worry, Katie. I'll go a little faster. It's one of the great white sharks, the great hunters of the sea. They can swim very fast, and they sometimes eat smaller sharks. As long as we're in the jeep, we're safe. It's another great white shark. Leo, the bamboo shark has fallen into the sea. Come back, hero. It's too dangerous. The sharks are coming this way. Where's hero? I can't see him. Look, hero found a reef. He's standing on it. That's great. The great white sharks won't be able to swim there. Full speed ahead. The bamboo shark is almost on the other side. We made it. We escaped the big sharks. Hmm. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find a home for the bamboo shark, just look for a safe spot in the coral reef. Not for a naughty thief or a pretty autumn leaf, but look for a safe spot in the coral reef. I see. So not for a naughty thief or a pretty autumn leaf, but, but look, look for, for a safe, safe spot in, in the coral, coral reef. reef. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the bamboo shark, you have to look for a safe spot in the coral reef. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a safe spot in the coral reef. Is that a safe spot? Hmm. It looks safe, but there's no colorful coral reef. So let's continue. Is that a safe spot? Hmm, it's a coral reef. But what are all those spiky things? That doesn't look safe at all. So let's look somewhere else. Is that a safe spot? It's a coral reef and there are no scary animals. So yes, that is a safe spot for the bamboo shark. Good work, hero. We're coming over. Enjoy, bamboo shark. We did it. We found a new home for the bamboo shark. Hooray! Yay! a white spotted bamboo shark in our pond. We learned that bamboo sharks are small and harmless to humans and that they live in the coral reefs of the Pacific Ocean. So we brought the bamboo shark to a safe spot in a colorful coral reef. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.